right folks this is a little showcase video for bolt action second edition and the uh, british allies so this is my friend john hello john hello this is his army uh we used it in a recent battle report which you can go have a check out where we did a little training mission between british and american and uh we thought i'd have a little go through what john has in his army what he's got upcoming and what he's used before so these are his british soldiers these are all warlord game figures are they not john um yes everything there is all from the wonderful warlord so you want to go through what you got starting up front here yeah i mean this is the only the painted stuff that i have at the moment so right in the very front there that you're looking on is one of the infantry sections um designed for i think it was mid to late war so they've got two smgs in there plus the uh the old bren gun that's good the guy that you can see just to the left of the screen there pointing he's what i use as my second lieutenant at the moment um, he has got a buddy but i still haven't got around to painting it so he's a lonely lonely commander um just what? over behind the wall there poking out that's the sniper team which are quite cool especially in well i've used them once with the new the new second ed rules not that there's much difference in the sniper rules but they seem to be quite pokey and, and potent did you, one, did you convert them out of warlord they're infantry's? straight out the yeah straight out of the um the plastic infantry box so they're good quite versatile and you can see my cromwell tank there there's one of the what do they call these guns again that's a bren yeah bren guns one of the lmgs which is slightly boosted up and then just behind them, we have some artillery. That's the Cromwell. Yeah. That's the medium tank. Now, I really, really would like to get a few more vehicles, especially with the, the few changes that they've done and the new rules, where it's, it's certainly more accessible to have uh, more vehicles on the field of battle. So And with the tank will supplement as well. Oh, wow. the, that as well. That's a nice Cromwell. But with a plastic Churchill kit, I'm very tempted to get myself a nice heavy tank. Is this a Warlord kit as well? That is a Warlord kit, yeah. It's, it's really one of big. The plastic it's ones. like tall. Like, um, I mean, it's, it's much yeah, longer long. than a Sherman. Or they at least it long. seems like it. They are long tanks. <coughs> what do we have behind you? Uh, they're one of my favourite units, the Commandos. Oops. They might be flat fingers in the way. tree. <laughs> Focus on the fingers. Uh, yeah one of the veteran units of my army i do normally to be fair run most of the uh units as veterans in the game but yeah they've all got rifles there's the nco right at the front there pointing pushing his boys forward uh gave them rifles simply because i use the doctrine where they they get an additional rifle shot for every three um and also they were tough fighters and with obviously the tough fighters in version one was they get two attacks in melee which is slightly different now mm. as we were reading it in the battle report just before um that we played the other week it's um what is it now for every successful hit they get another hit to go so, i mean it still makes sense that they have the rifle yeah because if it's the same as the smg rules Who's for the assaults of purposes that is mr mannering oh yes he is with his big ginger moustache and his pathetic little pistol, he is my free artillery observer. Who is, well, 50 50. He's done alright. He's blown <laughs> me up quite a few times, but hey ho. Uh, he got a direct hit on my half track in the last he game. He did. He took out the half track um, and got quite a few pins, not that it slowed you down. And then just behind him is the. Um, <clears throat> the pointless Piet launcher. Still handy to have some anti tank, but it's uh oh, it's thinking about focusing. <laughs> I think it's got too many commandos in the way. Piet launchers okay, it's shaped char uh, charge but such a short range, twelve inch twelve inch range, so well, we also have some Dudes behind there. That is my medium mortar. Medium and, well, medium or light. No, it has to be medium because it's got three crew. 
the way I painted these are really quite basic. I mean, I, I think I undercoated them all with one of the Citadel sprays, um, Zandri dust, and then it was a complete wash of Agrax, my favourite Agrax. Yes. Uh, um, the the webbing and everything was slightly different as I I originally started off with uh, a white undercoat. Actually, it was a sort of a cream undercoat, like a bleach bone almost, uh, with a Griffin uh, sepia wash over the top. But it kind of evolved over, so I could do it quicker with only one coat. Um, and that was just pure white with the Griffin sepia wash. Well, those ones definitely don't want to zoom in. That's because of this fella here. <laughs> don't like that unit. No. That's another rifle uh, section. Same as the first one, isn't it? Same as the first. Two SMGs plus the uh, BLMG. And then we also have a Dodge truck here. Yes, that's a recent addition. Um, that's used as just a basic one. You can upgrade it, I don't know how, because I don't know if there's much difference in the actual vehicle. Um, but one's got like a troop capacity of 12, which is the one I used in our battle report. And the other one has got like a troop capacity of 30. But I don't think there's any difference in the physical form of the model itself. <laughs> so that's always confusing how you can cram more people in. Like the guy, this guy's pointing at us again. Someone's watching us! Yeah, someone's watching us! <laughs> um, a minor conversion on this, because I collected the Terminator Genesis game. <coughs> I had a lot of little toy cars. And I took the axles off, because they don't need it in the far future, because the, the wheels are all melted and burnt. <laughs> and I managed to put the... The moving wheels on, so I can quite happily push my little truck about. Whee! With moving wheels. That does not come with the kit. Actually, what kit is that from? That's a Warlord resin kit. All right. Um, does the driver come with it? The well? driver comes with it. Yeah, he's a little metal model. Although he's not actually holding anything, so he's more of just a passenger. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who was driving jumped out. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> he's like, I'm not staying in here. They roll a six, I'm gone. <laughs> So that's that's the initial force. How much points is this roughly about? Well, thousand. I can I can push it to a thousand. I think if everything's better. Veteran, yeah. What do you got upcoming? Mm. Well, for some time now, I've had quite a few bits sitting in the stuff. upcoming bit. Uh, one of the things I got from Salute at the beginning of this year, this year being 2016, soon to disappear. Um, I have my little brain carrier. And I've got it constructed so that there's nobody in the front seat. It's got two brains. <laughs> you like the ghost driver? There's a don't driver. You? No, the driver's there. He's oh, there. Yeah. And the fellas at the back, they can pop out for uh, when anyone's out. Where, where are these from? Again, another Warlord kit. Nice little kit. Um, funny little machine, though, really. I mean, that is an odd looking <laughs> thing, isn't it? It's so tiny as well. It can carry five people, I think which is four in the back cab there and one sits beside the driver. Um, I'm going to be using that, I think, for an officer. He's going to rock about in that um, to fire the Brens and what have you. Hence why I've got the little dudes that you can take out, because generally I only have an officer and what a else you got? <laughs> a terrible cough. That's one thing I've got. <clears throat> I see some artillery <clears throat> coming out. Yes. Big old whatever that is. I think it's called something like a QRF 17 pounder. I think it's a medium anti tank with the three crew. Again, that's all prime, ready to go. If he sits in there proper. Where's he go? I did it so like they actually load up. I think it's something like that. There you go. So that's a three. So that's a bit more anti tank. Uh, with an anticipation of a bit more armour rolling onto our fields pretty Indeed. soon. Yeah. Uh, so that's them. Yeah. Armour popping capabilities. I've also got the rather hilarious Vickers MMG <laughs> with the little dude sitting on the box holding his, his gun. Get on. There we go. There he is. With his buddies. To load up again. This is all the metal range from Warlord. They're there, they're <laughs> somewhere there. <laughs> Quite a 
quality kits. It's all a good one. So that sort of rounds out some of the support. You got any more dudes on foot? I have something to add up. Is another unit of the wonderful plastic infantry. Again, all made and ready and primed, but for some reason I never got around to doing them. These look like the desert rats. Oh no, I dig up oh, They do. They do at the moment. Um, but that's the base colour. Now these ones, this unit, I've got all as rifles. Because I thought, why not? These are going to be, I mostly use them as a regular infantry section. With their boss. I don't know who I made to be their boss. Possibly him. It's a great kit. Not that you can see. <laughs> But they are great kits. They're too busy focusing in on the uh, the painted stuff at the back. <coughs> so another ten rifles there to go in. There they are. Ooh, look at these guys. I see some Tomos coming up. Ah, uh, there you go. Another ten rifles there. Whoop! Let's clear that space. Just got to get round to painting them. There's a buddy. He's going to go with my second lieutenant. This guy? Yep. Um, just to give him some company, really, on the battlefield. Don't think they do a lot more. <laughs> That's another SMG, I guess, for 13 points. And I've also got, because I thought it would be a good idea, uh, another little officer troop here. I've actually stolen one of the German officer hem, uh, heads but I think it would go quite easily into being a British other than his purely Germanic jaw which you can see <laughs> and from the from it not being able to focus it also looks like he's got a little Hitler moustache but he doesn't, that's his mouth he's screaming. So he's going to be a, I don't know, what officer <coughs> first lieutenant or maybe even a captain we could always have, if we're doing bigger games, to have a second regiment. Yeah, I could do that. Or a second reinforced battalion. That is it. Oh, I tell a lie. I've got one other dude. Something I've not used as yet is uh, a spotter for that medium mortar. Or if I get a howitzer, I think I will be using him. Go. So you've got quite a few things coming up. There's a fair few things to come up. Um, but they've been sitting on standby for some time. Well, now that we've got them to the table, give you some motivation to paint up some more stuff. Indeed. Maybe the Vickers or the, Indeed or the Bren. I think I'd like to get the Vickers and the Bren carrier up and running. And maybe the Spotter. I do like the Commando models. They are really cool. I love backpack models. And the, also, I like models that are always firing. Almost like firing squad type guys. It goes suitably well with, the, obviously, the British. Always from... <laughs> Seem like you know, first rank, second rank, <laughs> standing in perfect lines, shooting hell out of each other. There we so, go. Yeah, that is uh, the rest of the force. Maybe with another vehicle or two, and you can push it up to two grand. Well, I would like to get, as I say, some more. Um, I would like to get some more tanks. I do like tanks. I do wonder what it would be like. To have a few more bits of armor rolling about. But I don't know what else I really want to add. I did quite enjoy in our battle report having the mobility of a truck. However, I did not enjoy the weakness of having a truck <laughs> as it disintegrated as you looked at it. Paper mache truck. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Well, thank it's you for showing us, us this, John. Thank you for looking. If you have. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we'll get to see some more of this painted stuff on the table soon. Oh, I would like to do some. Get these boys up and running. Maybe in the su summer we do a bit of a campaign. Oh, it would be good. I mean, there's plenty of us playing bow action now. Yeah. Mm. And uh, what's really cool is if you wanted to do Conflict Forty Seven, you could take this exact army you have here. And just add a few robots. It's just a straight port, isn't it? Yeah, really? pretty much. I mean, everything is still workable in exactly the same fashion. As far as I can understand. That's something we should look at. 
Cool. Well, there's the showcase of John's fantastic looking British army for bolt action. And uh, we shall see it gracing our battle reports a lot more in... Hopefully, the near future. <laughs> Thanks for watching.